Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome back to today's tutorial. When I first started using graphite pencils, I really could not get my head around what the numbers and letters meant on the pencils. I didn't understand what it meant and I didn't understand that each pencil had a different shade, a different type of lead completely. I just thought it was the same type of pencil for each pencil. So in today's video, to help you guys understand a little bit more about the graphite gradient chart, I've decided to actually do a whole tutorial dedicated to this. So I really hope that you enjoy today's tutorial. So firstly, I wanted to show you what graphite pencils I'll be using for this tutorial. And I'm actually using the graphite pencils by Derwent, and I'm using the set of 12 pencils and one pencil from the set of six pencils, which is the 8B pencil. So in total, I'm using 13 pencils. So this is not actually all of the graphite pencils which exist in the graphite pencil chart, but the pencils that I am using will give you a good enough range to do just about any drawing, but I will of course give you a full insight to every shade of the pencil in the gradient chart. So hopefully, as you can see on the screen, I have drawn out a chart of 20 boxes, and each box represents a different gradient of graphite pencils in the graphite pencil gradient chart. So for example, the left hand side of the chart will start with the lighter shades of pencil, leading up to the darkest shades on the right hand side, and I'll be colouring in the boxes with different shades of graphite pencils from the two sets. So what I have done is taken all of the pencils that I will be using for this tutorial and I've put them in order of lightest to darkest shades. So the shades of graphite pencils I will be using are the 4H pencil, the 3H pencil, the 2H pencil, the H pencil, the F pencil, the HB pencil, the B pencil, the 2B pencil, the 3B pencil, the 4B pencil, the 5B pencil, the 6B pencil, and the 8B pencil. So they are the lightest to darkest shades of the pencils. So here we have our chart, and as I touched upon at the beginning of this video, I've actually drawn out 20 boxes because there are actually 20 shades of graphite pencils in the graphite pencil chart. So just pausing the video now so that I can explain a little bit more in detail. In the first box of the graphite chart, that will contain the lightest shade of graphite pencil. And the idea is that our pencil shades are going to get slightly darker in each box leading up to the last box on the right, which will be our darkest shade. So as I start to apply our pencils down, you will see that each shade of pencil will slightly differ from each other in the sense that you will see them gradually getting darker. So now what I'm going to do is start writing down all of the pencils that are in the graphite pencil chart and I'll be going from the lightest to darkest shades just to make it a little bit easier to understand. The lightest pencil in the gradient chart is the 9H pencil and the darkest pencil in the gradient chart is the 9B pencil. So the chart from the lightest to darkest shades is as follows. The 9H, 8H, 7H, 6H, 5H, 4H, 3H, 2H, H, F, HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, 8B and 9B. So that breaks down how to establish the lightest and darkest shades. So just pausing the video again, and as you can see, I've written down the 20 shades in the gradient chart, but like I said at the start of this video, you don't actually need to have every single shade of pencil to create a great drawing, but I would actually recommend trying to get the graphite pencils within this range. So having a range of pencils between the 4H to the 8B pencils. And these pencils will give you a good enough range from the lighter to darker shades. So although I've explained the gradient chart in the sense of getting from the lightest to darkest shades, I'm sure that some of you are probably really confused by what the letters and numbers on the pencils mean. So now I'm going to explain how they relate to the pencils and what they mean. So as you can see, we have the letter H against some of the numbers, and then there are four pencils, which is the H, F, H, B and B pencils, which kind of stand alone. And then we have a block of pencils with the letter B against some of the numbers. So what I want to do now is explain to you exactly what these letters and numbers stand for. And I'll start with the letters. So I'm going to start by explaining what the letter H means as the letter H is found on our lightest shades of pencil. 
The letter H actually stands for hardness or hard and this gives us the indication that our pencil lead is hard. Now because the pencil lead is a lot harder on these pencils, that means that we're going to get lighter shades of pencils because there isn't as much saturation or pigment in these pencils like there is with the darker shades of pencils. The H pencils also sharpen to a much finer point, which means that they are going to be really good for applying really fine details, but they don't cover as much area like the B pencils, which are totally different. The H pencils are also less likely to break when you sharpen them because they have a harder and tougher lead, so that means that you can sharpen them less likely and less often, and they will retain their point a lot longer than the softer lead pencils. So that is basically what the H stands for on graphite pencils. Moving on to what the letter B stands for now, and the letter B actually stands for blackness or black, and that means that these pencils will produce a much darker shade than the H pencils. So the B pencils are effectively the complete opposite to the H pencils. They have a much softer lead to the H pencils, which means that they have a much softer and blunter point. Because of this, they are more likely to break because the lead is weaker, and they are also much more difficult to sharpen and retain a sharp point as well. So that is what the letter B stands for on the graphite pencils. So moving on now to the letter F, and this letter is probably what confuses people the most because it is a standalone letter and it's just on one pencil. The letter F actually stands for fine point, and this basically means that this pencil can be sharpened to a fine point. So this pencil is really good because it's also effectively in the middle of the H pencils, which are the lighter shades of graphite, and the B pencils, which are the darkest shades of graphite. So that is what the letter F stands for in the graphite gradient chart. So last but not least, we have the letters HB, and this basically stands for hard black, meaning that this pencil is effectively in between the H and B pencils. So that again is what the HB pencil stands for in the gradient chart. So now what I'm going to do is actually line up all of the graphite pencils that I have, and just to remind you that I don't have all of the shades of pencils, but I will do a demonstration with the pencils that I have. So hopefully this demonstration will give you an idea of what the different shades look like and how they compare to each other as well. So starting with the 4H pencil, which is actually the lightest pencil I have, I'm going to start gently shading in the box and I'm using the side of the pencil to do this, just to show how the pencil lays down on the paper. So as you can see, it's hardly showing up at all, and that is because it is such a hard lead, so the shade is a lot lighter than some of the other pencils I have in the set. So just moving quickly on, because this really is just me repeating the same process of using the side of the pencil to put a base layer down, hopefully you can start to see how our shades are gradually getting darker. So this is because each pencil slightly differs from each other, so in this case the pencils are gradually transitioning from a harder lead to a softer lead, and that is making the shading appear a lot darker. So finishing up the gradient swatches now, can you see the difference between the lightest to the darkest shades? So for example, the 4H pencil, which is the lightest pencil on the far left, is much lighter than the 8B pencil on the far right. The 8B pencil is a lot darker, so you'll be able to get much darker values and contrast in your drawings by using this pencil. So what I want to do now is give you a little bit more insight into how the lightest, middle and darkest shades of graphite pencils compare to each other, and to demonstrate this I've actually drawn out three circles. In the first circle I will be using the 4H and the H pencil just to slightly shade in the circle, and you will see just how soft and subtle that shading is with these pencils. So all I'm doing here is just applying a very light layer of pencil and I'm going to go over this part fairly quickly because I'm just using the side of the pencil to add a couple of layers. So you can see that because these pencils have relatively hard lead, they appear much lighter. So these pencils will be really good to use for more subtle shadows or highlights in a drawing. Next we have the mid-tone shades of graphite pencils and I'm actually using the HB pencil for this because this is in the middle of the H and B pencils which are the lightest and darkest pencils. So you can see here that this pencil is just slightly darker in tone than the H pencils. And lastly we have the third circle which I'm colouring in using the darkest shades of pencils that I have and that is the 6B and 8B pencils. So as you can see, these pencils are a lot darker than the H pencils, and that is because they have a softer lead and a darker value and contrast. 
So hopefully this tutorial gave you some helpful insight into understanding the graphite gradient pencil chart and it not only explained the difference between the lightest and darkest shades of graphite but also what the letters and numbers stand for and how they relate to the pencils as well. And you can see that through my demonstrations you don't actually need to have every single shade of graphite pencil. Even if you have some shades you'll still be able to get a good enough range to draw with.